Hi my YouTube friends, hola mis amigos de YouTube, this is Pinguina here with another cover video and today I'm going to tell you just a quick story on how Mr. Pinguina and I uh, went about deciding on having our three kids while I bring you this delicious atole de elote or a corn atole. It's basically a warm, soothing drink that's Salvadoran, that's made with corn, of course, and a little bit of milk and whatnot. And so this is a, a typical drink from El Salvador, Central America. And of course, at the same time, I'm over here trying to share with you just a quick, you know, story on how that came about. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is just blend the corn now this is fresh two corn cobs that i purchased now i couldn't find any yellow corn in here in my small town typically that's what uh, we use in el salvador but i did went ahead and core up some white corn so i'm hoping that it's gonna still you know taste deliciously the same and so i'm gonna go ahead and so what i did is on the corn on the cob i kind of like plucked at it so you'll see that the the kernels are whole right here and then I'm gonna basically blend it in the blender with one and a half cups of water and the atole it, it, again it's made out of fresh corn which you are seeing me put in the blender here and my colander because I I washed it, you know, and I soaked it just a tad. You don't have to soak it. Um, I just was preparing everything, turning on my camera, setting up my tripod. So, I mean, it kind of just sat here with a little bit of water. But it's just, um, now I've never tried it from just, you know, canned corn or frozen corn. So, I honestly don't know if that's going to be the same as fresh corn. So this is fresh corn on the cob and that I kind of like plucked away and pulled. I mean, you can use a knife and then slice them off. Um, I didn't want to do all that because I didn't want to waste. And then, of course, that's just me, the non-waster. Anyways, the story that I'm bringing you, of course, is going to be, you know, how Mr. Pinguino and I decided on three babies. Now, in a previous one of my videos, um, I did tell you guys, I did share that I originally wanted four babies, and then he only wanted two. And then we end up compromising and having three, right? These are life decisions, again, you know, in my channel. I love telling you guys stories on, you know, stuff that him and I went through and, you know, continue to face. Uh, currently, I'm just kind of talking about my past and everything. And then, you know, I'll probably jump into whatever. And then, of course, you know, it's not going to be a lot of cooking. Um, we're doing a lot of uh, kind of like putting our house together once again because we do move back from the state of Arizona back to Nevada. Now, once we situate the home situation, uh, once everything is back to like normal per se, I might not be um, cooking um, a lot and you guys are probably going to be seeing my face a little bit more because again this is a blogging channel and i probably won't be sharing many you know stories from past or whatever um, i'm still trying to hit those topics that are hard to talk about like this one which is you know how to uh, decide on having kids and you know what the, the points and the whatever you know terms that we came together now give me a moment because I'm just going to blend this and I don't want to uh, be loud on the camera and I'll be right back. Okay friends, I'm back. And so this is um, what it looks like. And of course if you do the yellow corn it's going to be a little more yellow. Um, but I mean the flavoring should all be the same and it's you know contains sugar and whatnot. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove. I have my little kind of like saucepan because it's not a lot it's just usually it's basically for like three cups now I'm gonna use my back burner you know since it's smaller and since I'm telling a story we'll go ahead and let it take its time 
and of course we're going to use the colander or um, yeah colander and pour it in making sure that's nice and warm and you see it there it's dripping you see the corn now I did this on a Vitamix okay and I'm gonna help it out with the spatula here it's again because of the corn and I don't want to take it too long and everything like that anywho back to the story um, you know I the reason I wanted four kids I kind of wanted to keep like a even number and then my husband said well you know I want an even number two so you know I think that two should be good and I a boy and a girl and I said well what about if we don't get like the boy and the girl right away and he said well we'll see what God says right and then so in the back of my mind I kind of knew like okay well he only wants two I want four you know we'll figure it out I mean that's basically what marriage is about compromise helping each other you know um, figure out the reason behind and all that you know and just some big decisions are, are, are really well planned together and so what ended up happening there and I might use a cheesecloth so bear with me here okay because I thought it was, you know just a colander would have been fine but I might go ahead and do the to get all the juices out you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do that I like the colander that has a little extra so I can sit it on my little pot but this one doesn't have it anywho um, so I end I end up like so I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit it'll just sit there give me one moment let me grab the cheese cloth okay this one's brand new um, there's two little squares so I'm gonna go ahead and just use one and this one it's it's just a lot better to utilize this if you want to get all the um, well I thought it was two. Oh, two square yards I'm sorry my bad somebody's not paying attention um, I do have kitchen scissors so I'll go ahead and cut it no worries and just in case you don't know what kitchen scissors are I'll go ahead and show you guys right now Give me uno momento por favor. And please, when you get a chance, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please help me grow my channel. The faster the better, but it's okay. God willing, I know God will help me. He knows the reason I'm doing this, so... Okay, so these are the kitchen scissors. Yeah, and I don't want to do this on camera because it's just going to be all over the... But because it was like super long, and I just chopped it in half. And I'll move this out of the way, and I'll move the blender out of the way. And as you can tell, it's starting to like simmer. But it's okay, I'm not in a hurry. And I'll move it out of the way there. So what I'm going to end up doing, um, move the camera just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. I'm just going to use the cheesecloth. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the corn mixture right in here. And then kind of like squeeze everything out. And I do apologize, it's a little wacky this little thing I feel like it's all over the place so there's no specifics all I'm gonna do is put it over here and don't worry it's not gonna burn or anything like that it's away from the heat okay so you kind of just put the corn mixture there and then you're going to lift and you're just going to squeeze 
Now remember, it was just blended with like cold water. So it's not hot or anything like that. So all you're doing is squeezing all the corn milk basically out of it or corn water, whatever you want to call it. And again, my hands are super duper clean. You see that this is a lot better. Okay. And I do apologize. I mean, I've done it a couple of times, but it's been a minute and I completely forgot that this is the best way to do it, okay? The best way to get all the corn water. Anywho, so you're watching me do this and I'm kind of talking about what's going on there. Um, so my husband and I were talking about our, our babies. And so we had our first one and we had our second one and that's when I brought the subject of the third one and you know he my husband Mr. Pinguino was kind of in debates because he said no you know I only wanted two we have a boy and a girl now you know God bless us pretty early that that's all we need and I just didn't give up on the subject and then he kind of caved and he said okay let's you know one more and um, so I got pregnant the third time and then when when the time came and I already gave you guys that video where I like spaced them out and why I spaced them out the way I did um, I went ahead and um, talked about the, the fourth one and while we were doing, you know, the talking about the fourth one is then when he explained, you know, um, and this is his thought of reasoning because remember we were pretty young when we started out and stuff. We were now in our 20s, but very young still. Um, he said, you know, I can see myself with the three and providing everything that they need. And with the fourth, I honestly don't know if I will be able to, you know, and then he said, you know, we did go ahead and do one more and I don't know if I want a fourth one. And so I'm going to add a cup of milk. That's going to be eight ounces. So, you know, we sat there for a little bit, you know, I, I kind of, uh, talked about it with him and shared my feelings he shared his feelings so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add that cup of milk and then I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring and I bring the, the the heat down to like a four or medium low because we don't want it to get all the yucky and I'm gonna add sugar and cinnamon Here's the little cinnamon sticks. Just gonna add two little ones. Um, nothing fancy. Sugar, it's just gonna be to taste. Um, but um, Typically, I do um, tablespoons, so I'm gonna do two and a half tablespoons, and I'm gonna add it in there. Okay, there's the one. Tablespoon, and then here's the second tablespoon. And then, and a half. Okay, so now, um, once my husband and I, you know, finally said, okay, that's it, we're dropping the conversation, no more. Um, I ended up, you know, just keeping my uh, three babies. And I said, okay, well, um, right now I want to make sure you're sure, um, you know, after conversation and the whole you know make sure that we can afford um you know to get the pay for college and whatever they want like when they're adults um 
and within our means so oh and then the other is you um add salt as well i know it's not like traditional but it's just half a teaspoon and i'm going to utilize the himalayan fine salt um because my other sea salt is a little bit so it's just like half a teaspoon and then you're just mixing up to medium just mixing and mixing at this point and then that's it that's basically like all the ingredients and this is like a very warm concoction that you can um oh i'm sorry i am missing an ingredient it is going to be two um, tablespoons of cornstarch to make it thicker And that's basically what I've missed. And so um, because it is a corn flavor, we're just going to use the plain, plain maicena or cornstarch. Um, this is just the Latin brand. Um, there is this also that's cornstarch, which I forgot that I had, but I'm pretty sure you can use as well because it's basically what it is see 100% cornstarch and I forgot that I had this honestly and it's still even brand new so um, I don't want to open it because I already opened the other one but it's the same thing it's cornstarch it's just a thickener okay now this is a vegetarian drink this isn't vegan because it contains animal products and obviously it's not keto that's subdorin so I'm going to go with uh, vegetarian basically because of the, what's in there. And then that's two. And then again, we're just mixing, mixing and waiting for it to boil. And then the course, um, like I stated, it's just to thicken it, um, the cornstarch. And I'm going to bring the camera just a little bit closer. Boop, boop. Come along for the ride. Look at my mess. Let me go ahead and clean it up. Now, once um, we dropped that conversation and, you know, we ultimately decided, you know, we want to give everything that we can to our kids. We want to be able to provide and not, you know, uh, basically do it ourselves since we were young. We didn't want people to say, well, you know, well, you should have had only this, and why, why did you do this? And I just didn't want anybody like interfering. So that's it, folks. I mean, we, I then decided to go to the doctor and take care of business when it came to making it permanently. Um, I didn't want to have any accidents. Um, I, no excuses, no nothing. So I straight up went to the doctor and got taken care of. Uh, basically tubal ligation um, the doctor that I went to actually wanted to put me to like psychiatric testing and to make sure because I was super young I was like 21 or whatever when I had my last baby or 22 but I said dude if I get pregnant and you're still around are you gonna take care of it <laughs> he's like okay here we go let's go ahead sign off so definitely that's basically what he ended up doing. So he ended up saying, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let this boil. And I'm going to go ahead and pause you for a second. And then we'll be right back when it's nice and served. Okay, friends. I'm back after the concoction boiled. <laughs> that's totally. Um, this is how it looks like. And then from here, you see how nice and warm it is. Um, now, what I forgot to tell you guys that I would highly recommend, which I should have, but I didn't do. But next time I will. Uh, don't make my mistake if it, in case you forget. Um, go ahead and grab the two. Um, sorry, I made a mess here. Grab the two uh, tablespoons of cornstarch and dissolve it in water first. And it's just going to be like another two tablespoons of water before you pour it in. I did it my, I mean, I did it that way. It was okay. It was just a little lumpy. Just a little bit, not a lot. But I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. 
you know and then there we have it boom you see that it's my favorite Disney cartoon this one my son gave it to me as a Christmas present and there you have it that's it folks you can enjoy this um, in the winter weather with a delicious pan dulce whichever you would want um, I will be bringing you guys other recipes now I did have the um, quesadilla salvadoreña sweet bread um, that I did upload maybe you can have it with that you know a little piece of that and some of this delicious corn atole and now corn atole I um, it's just a nice warm corn drink there you go Ta -da. I'm gonna go take it to my husband right now he's outside and it's cold and he's cleaning up the backyard Anywho, um, back to my quick story because I know I got you at 21 minutes and I know I'm like, keep saying that I want to shorten these and I never do because the stories I forever, forever prolong. <laughs> so, sorry, you guys. I love you guys so much though for sticking around um, as long as you do. Um, hopefully, even if you skip around, you actually get to maybe the end of the recipe. But I want you guys to say for both, for the story and or the uh, whatever the uh, recipe is for that video. Now, um, please do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, that's going to let me know that you appreciate the content that I am providing to you guys. And then um, I'll be seeing you pretty soon. I'll be getting you guys another video um, in just a few minutes. I do record one after the other after the other. And then from there, I try to like you know go over my videos and then upload them as quickly as I can to get you that content quickly okay so once again this is already um, done and I hope you guys do it make it and do enjoy it the hard work is just a corn again I mean if you guys <laughs> if you guys want to try it with like frozen corn or canned corn go ahead but I believe fresh is better now this I won't drink because it's not keto it's corn it's too much carbs but um yeah, I enjoy, you know, vegetarian delicious corn drink from El Salvador. Okay, and I'll be bringing you guys more recipes. My next recipe is going to be um, keto. I'm going to make some cookies and uh, telling you another quick story there. And then I'm also going to be making you guys a vegan delic delicioso ceviche. That's coming up too, okay? Awesome, my friends. So I want to thank you very much. I love you guys so much. Thank you once again for supporting my channel. May God bless you all. Don't forget, you do you, I do me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oop, shaking the camera there. Bye.